Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create an onion chart. This is also known as a stacked Venn diagram, but you probably have seen these type of charts in newspapers or magazines where you have these different layers that represent a bigger value and it encapsulates a smaller value to very small value in here in, in the smallest one, smallest circle or sphere here. There's not really a way to create this with the native charting capabilities in Excel, so there's actually another way that we can do it using the smart art objects. So we can create something like this, and in addition, if we wanted to do a little bit of interactivity, we can create something like this, where if we had a little small table here, and maybe instead of elephants or hippos being the third layer here, we change that to lions, and that automatically updates it here in the chart. So I'll go ahead and show you how to create both of these type of charts. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Let me go ahead and increase the size here a little bit. And basically to create this type of chart, this onion chart or this vent stacked Venn, what we need to do is just go into the insert tab and what we're going to do is insert some smart art. So once we select the smart art, we're going to go to the relationship here over in the left pane and scroll to the very bottom where then we'll see a stacked Venn diagram. So if we click on that, click OK, you'll see that we have kind of the skeleton for this type of chart. And to enter the text in here, you can either just click in here and start entering the text. I'll just type layer one, or you can click these two arrows here and start entering it here like in a bulleted format. So we can say this is layer two and this is layer three and this is layer four and if we hit return we can actually add an additional layer you can see that circle there and we can just call this layer five now this is kind of a very boring type of color and line scheme so we can actually change colors if we go up here if we're in the design tab we can click here and change the colors so this is the one that i chose earlier and we have a pretty flat type of coloring scheme here if we wanted to add some depth into it there are actually some styles. So if I hover over these styles, you can see that there are different styles that are given to this particular chart. So I think I chose the polish one last time, and maybe I'll just choose this intense effect here. So now we have our onion chart, or our stacked Venn diagram. Now, in this instance, we can actually move and rearrange some of the circles too. We can we can select this and kind of just pull it out. If we wanted to pull out layer one larger than the other layers, we can pull that out. Let me control Z to undo that. Or we can select all these layers and have them pulled in another direction. Let me pull this in this direction. You kind of make it a little bit bigger. Um, or let me control Z to undo that. Or you can make it kind of like bigger this way, all of them bigger that way. So there's some formatting we can do after we've created this stacked or this onion chart. Now, how do we get to here where if we change some of the values here, uh, let's say maybe it's not elephants, maybe it's hippos now, where we can automatically, dynamically change it here. One way to do it is to insert shapes. So we keep, you can insert, keep inserting shapes. Let me go ahead and press the shift key to give my, get a uniform circle. And we just can keep drawing additional shapes, right? We can do that and we can just keep drawing shapes and that's kind of time consuming. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select these two shapes and delete. One other way we can do this is after we created this particular shape, let me go ahead and go into this sheet here and just take this as a template since this is all pretty uniform circles. Is I can select that and open, since I've opened up the uh, this window here, I can select all of this and then control C to copy and bring it over here into this blank sheet and control V to paste. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. So what it's done is it's taken that smart art and composed it down or broken it down into separate shapes. So these are all now separate, separate shapes that aren't constrained by the smart art. Right now they're all just individual shapes of circles, right? So what I can do here now is I can take something like the, I can take these layers I can copy those text, and if, but if I bring it into the cell here and do a control V to paste, it's just going to paste another shape. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. Go back in here and uh, select this again, control C to copy. What if I just put it into the formula bar up here? Well, that kind of works. Press enter, 
but what I get is I get all this text into one cell. Well, I want to get all these text into separate cells. Let me go and Control Z to undo that. Let me go ahead and uh, pull this again. Control C to copy. What I need to do is I need to go into something like Microsoft Word and paste it and just paste the text. If I paste the text, the formatting goes away, those bullets go away. I can just select that, Control C to copy, go back into Excel, back into my sheet and go into the cell, first cell here, control V to paste. So now I've got it all in separate cells. And then in this instance, what I can do is I can start typing the values. Let me see, this was whale, this one, let's call this one hippo, this one was lion, human, uh, dog, all right? So how do I have a change here and reflect it here? So what I need to do is I need to select the text here after I select the text here, I can just double click it to highlight that whole text and go up to the formula bar and type in equal and just click on the cell. So it's going to select cell B1. Press enter. And now you can see it's changed. So I just need to do the same with the other ones. Select that, double click, type in equal, and then go into this cell, press enter, uh, double click here, equal, and then this was lion, and put human here, double click, equal, and this is human, and then the last one is dog, right? Double click that and select it, press equal, and I, I have it selected there. So if I had to change one of these, maybe instead of hippo, we call this elephant, you'll notice that now it changes. And similar to what we did here, whoops, here where we moved it and changed the different shapes, we can do the same thing here. Uh, we might have to multi-select. What we can do is press the con control button, and select each of the individual circles. I selected this outer one, select that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then we can start to adjust the shape, right? Now I've adjusted the shape a little bit. And so we can do a lot of formatting after we've gotten this down. So this may be something where you want to put a template together. The one caveat with this one, the one disadvantage with this one is if we wanted to add additional layers, it's not as easy. We would have to actually uh, go back and use this to add the layer. So I can add an additional layer here. You can see that. So it just this one's just a little bit easier to add the layers and you just don't have that interactivity if you uh, want to use some interactivity to change the labels. But both ways work. It just depends which one you like better. So there's the way that we can create an onion chart or a stacked Venn diagram. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.